I'll never forget the words my middle school teacher sang to me from an old country song. The lyrics still resonate today in my mind. It's not where you've been, but it's where you're going. At the time, I didn't realize the impact those words would have on me. In fact, I remember just blankly staring at them, wondering if they realized that I didn't listen to country music. <laughs> However, over the next couple of years, I heard those words over and over again. And I must admit, I did appreciate the fact that no one other than my middle school teacher tried to sing it to me. <laughs> it wasn't until my junior year of high school that I finally understood and learned to appreciate what those words really meant. Now, everyone knows I am standing up here because I am an avid student. I've been trained to ask questions, to dig deep for understanding, and to find my way through advancing via individual determination. While many of us in this room have different stories and different ways that we became a part of the AVID community, we can all say that someone and AVID changed the course of our lives. For me, it began when my middle school teacher sang me a country song that at the time meant nothing, but that today means everything. My story begins before I was even born. My parents were born and raised in Mexico with no education, no job training, and with very little hope for the future. They, like countless other people, came here for the American dream. When my parents arrived, they had not even met yet. My parents met at a job where they both worked day and night, married quickly after their first introduction, they were able to purchase a small mobile home in my hometown of Tyler, Texas. Next came the best day ever, my birth. I really wish I could stand here and paint a picture of happiness, security, and love in my home, but I cannot. My life didn't mirror the books that my kindergarten teacher read about or the family that my friends talked about. My father didn't take me out to play, tuck me into bed, or even call me his princess. You see, my father's not a bad man, but he was, and still is, an alcoholic. A disease that rips not only at the person affected, but also anyone near them. My earliest life memories are of violence, anger, fear, insecurity, and loneliness. At the age of six, and the only English-speaking member of my family, I can remember my mother screaming, Leslie, habla al policía rápido. I, like many other, other students you deal with every day, could recall countless memories like this. As the years went by, my family grew as my mother and father had three more children. I was 12 when my twin sisters were born. The tension during the first six months of the twins' life seemed to stress my father so much that he left, and the final split came. In a state of depression, my mom would leave as soon as I would get home from school, and she would not return until the middle of the night. I had no choice but to care for the three children left in my arms. I remember sitting in the living room with one baby in each arm and a three-year-old in my lap at 11 at night trying my best to get them to sleep. I remember crying myself to sleep almost every night. I never spoke of these problems at school, but a teacher saw potential in me and told me to apply for AVID. It was this year that I first heard the lyrics to that song. It was this year I truly began to learn. It was the year I really thought that I could have a future. You may remember that I told you that my junior year is when I really understood what those lyrics were about and understood why it was my life motto. In my junior year, I got an AVID teacher. Name is April Caldwell. She was the new AVID teacher on campus, so no one really knew about her yet. Many of us found Ms. Caldwell slightly annoying. <laughs> Trust me, if you're a slightly angry person, mildly introverted, and don't like to smile or deal with emotions, she would annoy you too. <laughs> this gregarious woman met me at the door each day with a big hello, a three-second handshake, and always asked me about my day. I had several great avid teachers, but I hadn't had one so insistent on my happiness. 
She pushed past what I believed I could do. She pushed me to do what she knew I could do, even when I didn't see it. She made me write and rewrite. She made me organize. She encouraged me to read. She encouraged me to make friends. She provided opportunities to go places I have never gotten to go, and she made me apply for programs that I never dreamed I could be a part of. All of these things she was able to do because of AVID. AVID created a program that allowed her to be my teacher and a program that provided a curriculum that strengthened me and prepared me for not only success in school, but also success in life. When a student did something that was not right, for instance, being late to class, she would always tell them, that's not the AVID way. She truly believes in the program. Along with her, many teachers find AVID to be appealing and beneficial. Being an AVID student characterizes a responsible young adult, and April Caldwell truly exemplifies what it means to be an AVID teacher. One day I missed ninth period, and the next day she called me into her room wondering why. For the record, the ninth period class wasn't even her class, so the fact that she was calling me in for missing made me mad. <laughs> she simply said, hey, you missed yesterday, last period. What's going on? Can I help you out? Here's where it got weird. I started crying. The next 40 minutes during her entire lunch period, she sat in front of me as, as through tears, I told her my story about why I didn't feel I could leave and go to college, and why I didn't feel like I was supposed to leave. As I laid all my insecurities out, Ms. Caldwell, with a huge smile, showed me what my future could be. She said these words, it's not where you've been, but it's where you are going. She knew I wanted to be a nurse, and I sat in amazement as she told me how my circumstances had prepared me to be an amazing nurse. She spoke of my heart, my work ethic, and my resilience, and she praised my diligence. She made me realize that if I can stay up taking care of children and stay awake till 3 a.m. when my shift at Whataburger ended, while remaining in the top 10% of my class, then I can certainly stay up to study for all my college tests as I pursue my career as a nurse. I am a born caregiver, and thanks to Ms. April Caldwell and David, I am following my dreams and pursuing a higher education. I encourage my sisters to work hard every day and advise them to join AVID when they enter middle school. I had several great AVID teachers, but as I said, I hadn't had one so insistent on my happiness until I met Ms. Caldwell. AVID created a program that allowed her to be my teacher and a program that provided a curriculum that strengthened me and prepared me for the next steps in my life. I have been accepted into eight different universities and I am happy to say <laughs> I will be an Aggie at Texas A&M in just a few months. <laughs> AVID has taught me that anyone can overcome any obstacles and with the right support can pursue any dream they may have. The man who wrote that song that I remember was Jimmy Wayne. He had a childhood full of adversity and trials and is now a successful musician. As I researched articles about him, I found another quote that I think exemplifies AVID, which says, there's much one person can do and so many ways they can make a difference. It just takes one person to help someone to a better life. Thank you, Avid and Ms. Caldwell, for helping not only me, but the countless other students who have been transformed by your system of education. Thank you.